Everyone in the electric vehicle space knows one undeniable truth, Tesla's most versatile vehicle, and undeniably its most successful SUV to date, is the Model Y. Since its initial debut, the Model Y has not only transformed Tesla's sales figures but has also played an instrumental role in cementing the company's dominant position in the global EV landscape. It's no accident that the Model Y has consistently held the title of the best-selling electric vehicle on the planet. For many consecutive quarters, it has maintained a firm grip on the number one spot in the United States and other major markets, helping Tesla penetrate deeper into the automotive mainstream than ever before. Yet, as powerful as the Model Y's momentum has been, it is not an eternal engine of success. While the vehicle remains an attractive option, especially with a starting price around $37,000 once federal incentives are applied, the reality is more sobering. The Model Y alone cannot indefinitely sustain Tesla's revenue growth, market expansion, or investor confidence. This year, both Tesla's revenue and profits have experienced noticeable and troubling declines. The financial indicators are flashing yellow and Elon Musk, ever the pragmatist despite his grand ambitions, knows there is only one viable way to pivot, by launching a new vehicle that millions of people have been anticipating for years. This vehicle is none other than the Tesla Model 2. The Model 2 represents more than just another product launch. It is, in essence, Tesla's lifeline. It's the car that bridges the chasm between aspiration and affordability for the masses. For many individuals and families around the world, the Model 2 is not just another Tesla. It is the only Tesla they will ever realistically be able to purchase. And Elon Musk fully understands the strategic weight behind this project. Rather than reinventing the wheel, he is executing a far more elegant and economically sound plan, he is cloning the success of the Model Y, stripping it down and reassembling it at half the cost. This deliberate design and production strategy means the Model 2 won't be built from scratch. Instead, it will run down the same production lines as the Model Y while cutting out non-essential premium features to hit that crucial $15,990 price point. This leads to an essential question. What exactly has been removed from the Model 2 to achieve such an aggressive price cut? More importantly, does it still feel like a true Tesla, or has it lost the soul that defines the brand's identity? To understand the gravity of this transition, we must dive deeper into what the Model 2 represents. Not just in terms of physical features, but as a potential lifeboat for a company facing a set of very real and very pressing challenges. Let's begin with the exterior. Based on the clearest spy images circulating online and multiple sightings of camouflaged prototypes in California, the Model 2 retains a strong visual connection to the Model Y. It doesn't mirror it perfectly, but the shared design language is obvious. The spirit of the Model Y remains deeply embedded in the Model 2's DNA, and that makes sense given that both vehicles are being manufactured on the same assembly lines. While Tesla has gone to considerable lengths to conceal final production details, multiple reports suggest significant cost-saving design decisions have already been locked in. For example, one of the most distinctive changes involves the front fascia and headlights. On the Model 2, the headlights have been repositioned higher, and the characteristic LED light bar, a hallmark of more expensive Tesla models, has been entirely removed. The Model Y's front end has always had a refined, premium aesthetic, in part due to its lighting design. That upscale impression, however, simply doesn't align with a sub-$20,000 vehicle. So Tesla made the rational decision to simplify it. The Model 2's front now presents a more basic and utilitarian look, but not without a sense of style. In many ways, the stripped-down design lends the Model 2 its own unique identity, an aesthetic that reflects functional design at an affordable price. Interestingly, even with all these cost reductions, Tesla hasn't completely gutted the technological potential of this compact EV. A camera is still visible in the front bumper of prototype vehicles, which aligns with Elon Musk's declaration during Tesla's second quarter earnings call that the Model 2 will include hardware support for full self-driving capability. Tesla is clearly positioning this car not only as a personal commuter vehicle but also as a potential asset in the future robo-taxi fleet. Even if not every Model 2 buyer activates FSD right away, 
the hardware inclusion keeps doors open for future functionality and software updates that could monetize these vehicles long after initial purchase. When it comes to design speculation, one of the biggest debates has centered on the number and type of doors. There's been widespread curiosity over whether Tesla might attempt a bold move by equipping the Model 2 with Falcon Wing doors similar to those seen on the Model X. These doors are undeniably attention-grabbing and offer practical benefits in tight parking spaces thanks to their vertical articulation. Yet, practicality and cost efficiency often sit on opposite sides of the engineering equation. The Falcon Wing mechanism is expensive to manufacture, complex to maintain, and prone to costly repairs if damaged. Incorporating such a feature in a car with a target price under $16,000 simply doesn't add up. For that reason, industry insiders overwhelmingly agree that the Model 2 will adopt a traditional four-door configuration, mirroring the Model Y's more conventional layout. And the changes don't stop there. Tesla's signature panoramic glass roof, long seen as a visual and experiential highlight in other models, will not make an appearance on the Model 2. Instead, it's been replaced by a solid roof panel painted the same color as the car's body. This might come as a disappointment to some Tesla enthusiasts who enjoy the open, airy feeling that the glass roof provides, especially during long drives or scenic routes. However, from a production cost perspective, this is one of the easiest ways to cut several hundred dollars per unit while improving cabin insulation and safety. The rear of the vehicle has also been simplified significantly. The sleek LED light bar found on the Model Y and other upscale Tesla vehicles has been removed entirely. Replacing it is a painted panel that blends into the rear bodywork. While this change slightly diminishes the car's nighttime presence, it is a sensible trade-off that reinforces the vehicle's utilitarian roots. Style has not been completely abandoned, it has simply been subordinated to function. The Model 2 in essence is a crossover reimagined. It reflects the same basic proportions and posture as the Model Y, but with a pragmatic eye toward affordability. This approach mirrors Tesla's earlier success with the Model Y, which itself was a more accessible variant of the Model X. If history is any guide, Tesla's approach with the Model 2 will likely yield even stronger results, given the larger addressable market for ultra-affordable EVs. And while the Model X suffered from limited demand due to its luxury pricing, the Model Y exploded in popularity by slashing nearly $45,000 off the cost. Now, with the Model 2, Tesla is preparing to lower the bar by another $29,000. That is a seismic shift in automotive accessibility. Turning our attention to the interior, this is where many of the most dramatic simplifications occur. While Tesla has concealed much of the Model 2's interior in prototype sightings, enough details have emerged to paint a reasonably clear picture. First, the center console has been redesigned. It now sits lower beneath the central screen, and its cup holder layout appears reminiscent of the Cybertruck's minimalist approach. One of the most surprising omissions is the rear entertainment screen. For years, Tesla has included rear screens in its newer vehicles to support passenger comfort and robo-taxi interaction. However, the Model 2 eliminates this entirely. This could raise concerns about future usability in autonomous fleet scenarios, but Tesla likely anticipates that most passengers will interact with the car via their smartphones and apps rather than relying on an embedded display. In this way, Tesla not only reduces component costs but also reimagines how users interact with their vehicles in a digital-first ecosystem. Speaker count has been reduced significantly, from the Model Y's 15 speakers to just 10 in the Model 2. This is more than a minor trim. It reflects Tesla's calculated trade-off between auditory luxury and functional adequacy. The deletion of A-pillar speakers and potential elimination of subwoofers further cements this new audio baseline. Similarly, Tesla has chosen fabric upholstery over the vegan leather scene in more premium trims. This move alone can shave off as much as $400 per vehicle, and Tesla has already taken this approach with Model Y units produced at the Mexico Gigafactory. These fabric seats lack heating and ventilation, but given the Model 2's low price, few consumers will see this as a deal-breaker. White ambient lighting replaces the RGB light strips in higher-end models, offering a simpler cabin ambience. 
This change mirrors similar design decisions in the Model 3 produced in Mexico, reinforcing Tesla's commitment to unifying global cost-cutting strategies. The door panels are entirely concealed in test vehicles, which suggests that Tesla is either finalizing materials or deliberately hiding a lower-grade interior. It's highly plausible that single-pane glass is used instead of the double-glazed soundproof glass found on more expensive vehicles. Tesla is also expected to simplify trunk operation. While the Model Y features a motorized hatch, the Model 2 may revert to a manual lift gate, similar to the early Model 3. Again, this is a sensible decision rooted in repair cost reduction and manufacturing efficiency. Perhaps the most pivotal element in determining whether the Model 2 can deliver both affordability and adequate performance is the battery pack. Batteries account for roughly one-quarter to one-third of an EV's total cost. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the compact vehicle platform designated for the Model 2 will feature a 53-kilowatt-hour battery pack using lithium-iron phosphate chemistry. This may seem like a step down from the performance batteries in other Tesla models, but in truth, it's an ideal match for the Model 2's lightweight and aerodynamic form factor. With a carefully tuned energy profile and aerodynamic optimization, the Model 2 is expected to achieve a real-world range of around 250 miles on a single charge. For most urban and suburban drivers, that's more than sufficient for daily commutes and errands. Consumers seeking longer range can still opt for the Model 3 or Model Y. But for the average driver, the Model 2's battery is both sensible and economical. Production-wise, Tesla's Fremont factory in California is currently the most viable location for early mass production. While Giga Texas and Giga Mexico are occupied with high-volume manufacturing of other vehicles, Fremont offers the production flexibility needed to bring the Model 2 to market quickly. Tesla confirmed during its second-quarter earnings call that limited prototype production began in June with mass production expected to ramp up later in the year. The long-awaited official reveal is anticipated for November, marking nearly four years since Elon Musk first hinted at this ultra-affordable EV. The journey to the Model 2 has been a long one, and the stakes are higher than ever. Tesla has found itself in a tightening vice of geopolitical tension, eroding consumer subsidies and intensifying competition, especially from Chinese automakers like BYD and Wuling. With deliveries declining 14% in Q2 and back-to-back -back quarters of reduced revenue, the Model 2 is not just a new car. It's a critical pivot in Tesla's strategy to democratize EV access while sustaining long-term profitability. Whether or not consumers are willing to embrace the Model 2 simplifications will ultimately determine its success. But if public expectations remain grounded and consumers view this car for what it is, a minimalist yet functional Tesla priced for the masses, it could very well become the most important vehicle Tesla has ever made. Thanks for watching Torque Element. If you're among the growing number of people excited about the future of affordable electric mobility, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Would you accept these trade offs for a $15,990 Tesla? Would you be among the first to get in line when orders open? Drop a comment below and until next time, stay charged.